just my luck that oh hey it works. Now so don't let me put the banner up. There we go. The banner's up. Just keep that there. And then we gotta like um, uh, hold on. Alright, now that troubleshooting is done, we wait for people to enter the stream. So, yeah, it's me. It's me. It's me. Mario. It's me. Mario. I don't like how streams automatically make the thumbnail your your channel banner. It's very annoying. What? What? Why does? What? Huh? Huh? Oh, it's not even that good, bro. Now, if you saw. IDK22, you'd know that, well, if you were my friends, you would know that it was just a test to use the, like, the official wiggle, Wiggles, like, 4y3 aspect ratio border. Why does it have 5k views? Why? It's not even that good. It's just a test. Didn't even know what to name it, so I just plunked it in there with everything else. I got... Got Gimp, got Gimp, bro. Gimp's actually pretty sick. I, I like Gimp, loving the Gimp. So, that's what we're gonna use to design our thumbnails. Not design, but like fish. I need to check something. So we, we what do I, what do I put up? Um. But I'll just, I'll just mute myself and I gotta do something. All right. So if I go to a video that I have downloaded, definitely not illegally, I can hear sound. Yep. It works. I think. Yep, it works. That's perfect. Um, now I can just hang out. Now you might be asking, why is the stream called I Dislike Sonic Prime? Well, it's very simple. If you have common sense, you would know that, that means I don't like Sonic Prime. Why am I talking about Sonic Prime now? Like, two months after it came out? Shut up and I'll tell you, you fish. Hello. Like, Sonic Prime, I only watched the first four, four episodes. 
and wasn't very good. Wasn't. I don't. I didn't like it. Mainly because Sonic was really freaking annoying. He was like. He was the main reason that I just wanted him to die. I honestly just wanted Sonic to die. That's the video we shall be using to test trouble thingy in my bob. Like, Sonic was really annoying. No offense to his voice actor in Sonic Prime, but I just don't really like him. He's, he was very confident that he'd do a good job. And he did. But at some parts, oh my god, I just wanted to stab myself. I watched Sonic Prime the day it came out. Not on Sonic Speed Simulator! Like, the day it came out on Netflix. And I was like, what? I couldn't get past the first three minutes. It was just very, very bad. Extremely bad. I couldn't do it. I honestly, for the life of me, could not do it. So anyway, um, now that I'm done ranting about a blue rat, let's um design the stream thumbnail. Share screen window. There we go. There we go. We got got GIMP right here. GIMP's very good to me. He better be good. Um, we're gonna do Sonic because why not? Bam, bam, bam. No, get the bucket. No, that's actually kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Then we give him his arms. Fight me because they're blue. Uh, then we gotta get like a pink. No, like an orange colour, like his belly and his arms, it's like, oh, that, that's him, that's Sonic, the hedge, that's not red, but oh well, it's good enough, get, perfect, they're red, All in a day's work for clutch powers. Anyway, we got to save, save. Um, let's save this. Stream nine. Um. Uh, stop sharing. I was just still sharing. Bam. Perfect. We go to YouTube. Still working. Oh. Um, yeah. Do do you, if, if anybody's here, did you guys see the um the Mad Bomber retrospective? It got taken down because of Leo Kim video. Pressing. Like, like, I don't, I don't know why you took it down. I know you can do that. Like, you could take someone down for copyright infringement. Even though you're using copyrighted characters, it doesn't really make sense. Even though you change the names of like char every character other than two doesn't does not mean that they're yours you don't own them
find it funny how when I look at from no one can I there we go okay so edit title and description no I want to edit thumb thumbnail edit the thumbnail upload thumbnail got my eyes on the target Enemy everywhere. We should go to get now. Get the grass eye. Feel my heart thumping. Say, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go, let's go. She's the one, she's the one, she's the one, she's the one. She's the one. Where is it saved? Um, I don't want to know what that is. Uh, like the I don't open the location. What do you want me to do? Five viewers? Who's watching me? I'm just some random guy. So I gotta do this again. Save as. Save this image. So. Three people left. I'm not surprised. Should have done that sooner. So go save. This could could take a little bit. Could take a little bit, but I will. So I'll add some finishing touches. Make the text that I'm gonna write yellow. Perfect. Now save. Okay. Hopefully, before I stab someone, ah, oh, Christ, where is it? Save as? Would that work? Save as? So it's in my documents, but... Where exactly? I'll save it on my desktop. So hopefully if we try this again for the third time Is it on the desktop? Stream thumb. It's there. Why? Why aren't you saving? All I wanted was to make a thumbnail. And this is how I get repaid. Fun for the whole family. Right, so we'll try this again. Desktop. It's not on the desktop folder. So we'll go desktop on this PC. Apparently, 
save some documents. But I don't... What's this? Oh, undo changes. Oh my god. Why is this taking so long? Would it be in a GIMP folder? Okay, found it, found it, found it. Open. File is not an image. What is it then? <laughs> Save image as or something. <sighs> hmm. This is confusing. So I'll just upload a random image that I have for the stream today. Yep, that's perfect. We mean until errors have been resolved. There are no errors. Oh god. Oh. Oh my. That's a bit spooky. Started streaming 17 minutes ago. Yeah. So, long time. Eight people? What is happening? That's bizarre.
No one likes watching a guy who literally left. Like, I literally just left. Alright, so... Yeah. I wish I had someone to join the stream with me. Maybe I'll message. Message is out. That's a bizarre ad. That's very bizarre. All right. Oh God, the engines of Roblox is making more community posts. They're not bad. Hit 7k with a very lazy screenshot. Which time should X Friend come out? That sounds like a name for a TV show. Oh god. So February 14th, 83%. February 17th, 13%. February 18th. Four percent. People just want it out. People just want it out in the world. There's always that one YouTuber we always used to watch. And they just don't upload for like three months. Come back. And then leave again. Like, make a choice, dude. Make a video about it. Do at least something. Make a video at least explaining what you're doing. I guess not. He did not want to. Fun. I'm basically on my own. Oh well. Oh my god, I don't even get me started.
actually don't even get me. Don't even, oh my god, bro. This goofy ass man is just so freaking stupid, bro. He's actual goofy as hell. Look at this. How many times have you rebranded? Theories, deep lore, questions about a show with talking trains. And this is a thumbnail for one of your videos. Deep lore. Okay. You know why this video is so long? Because of because of this. Because of this. The Kickstarter ad. The freaking Kickstarter ad. It's so bad. It's actually really freaking bad. I mean, don't know. Don't need to know. I just make a separate video. Don't, don't interrupt every single video with it. Besides, you already ran off with the money. No one cares. No. Actually, I will send you an email telling you to get off this platform. Because you don't deserve it. Do I even, do I even want to know? I am like Mr. Ryan here, because this is the, the TikTok trend, I don't keep up. I stick to what I know. Splendid Soto N. Okay. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're doing yet again another Mr. Ryan video. Well, we gotta watch the whole saga. I've gone too far. Thanks again. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my god. Bro, you should have said get cringe. Cringe. Bro, what kind of name is Pin Card the Lombax? Freaking and Lombax. That was a racist term. Am I going to get cancelled again? Oh, Ratchet and Clank, my favorite game series that I've never played. You gotta watch the whole saga. Can I not get notifications every five seconds? Oh god. Oh god, no. No. Mr. Ryan is back at it. Why? I'm gonna get cancelled. Welcome back to the ch channel, and in today's video, we're doing yet again another Mr. Ryan video. I, I just, I just wanna know, I just, I want, I wanna, I just, I just wanna know, what's going why am I getting like seven? What is happening, bro? I know, you're all probably sick of it, but hear me out. I don't care. Now, you have like one video. Now, you're all probably wondering why. Well, let me explain. See, Mr. Ryan has made another channel update, and you know what that means? 
I have to do a video Why? on it. Are you like being held hostage? Are you obligated to? Is your family going to get murdered if you don't? Now, before we even get into this video, there's something I really want to talk about. Mr. Mr. Ryan, Ryan commented on my video. My Mr. Ryan. I'm not even going to say anything. Thank you for documenting my channel changes. Lol. Could have, could have at least put a capital letter at the front of the at, at the beginning of the comment. Oh my god. You commented. Thank you for documenting my channel changes. Lol. Anytime, Mr. Ryan. Only OGs will remember Mr. Edward. Yeah, I did make a part four where he explained what happened, but um, that got taken down, and the video I made ended up being pretty bad, so I removed it. Yeah, and now Mr. Ryan has made another channel update. His name is now Cosmic. Which is a pretty stupid name. If I'm being honest, I don't want to know. Can Diesel get out of Australia? For the love of God. Mr. Ryan like, dominated the fandom until Was this Thomas YouTuber right here one of your favorite Thomas YouTubers? No, not really. He wasn't. He's just kind of there. I like his memes, but he wasn't my favorite. He didn't reuse a lot of memes. Point. Have you been wondering where they have gone? I, I just, I just want to know. I just. Uh... Why they rebranded their channel into a pop culture channel to then only rebrand it back? Have you also been wondering about if Mr. Ryan has really scammed? Fifty nine backers. Pledge to this guy. Two thousand and forty six pounds. What is that in the AUD? Uh, two thousand okay, pounds sterling. Oh my freaking god, no way. Oh my god. Pound to to Australian dollar is three thousand five hundred and sixty-eight. What? And he left and did Oh my What's that in, like, American? To USD. No, it's not, it's not that bad in American. But still, that's... That's just disgraceful. People? Well, I plan answering those questions in this video. But before we go into what ended up happening to Mr. Ryan, we gotta know, why was he popular in the first place? Because he made stupid freaking meme videos. They weren't even that funny to begin with. Mr. Ryan started his channel off with the name of Boko the Diesel Engine. I remember Mr. Edward. This phase of the channel was really just uploading whatever to see what stick. Almost every YouTube channel goes through this sort of phase when they start out. Then, after this phase, he would end up rebranding his channel into Mr. Edward. Mr. Edward era is- I remember Mr. Edward. That was like the OG era. OG 
era. Where he would start making the thing that he's most known for, his fact videos. These fact videos were all text with no narrator. Not having a voice in the video can be somewhat annoying to some, and I think that Mr. Edward realized this because he would once again rebrand the channel into what we know as today as Mr. Ryan. This third rebrand was definitely the most successful. Mr. Ryan started to get even more popular than before. Now he had narrators in his videos, the editing was better, and overall the content was a huge improvement. After some time of making fact videos, Mr. Ryan would do some different types of content with his very successful Thomas the Tank Engine memes. I myself never found these memes funny, but they did. They, they weren't that funny. I got a, I got a chuck out of some of them, but they weren't that funny. It did really well, and a lot of other people did find it funny. And a fan movie about Henry, which was a big hit with a ton of people. Mr. Ryan, I would say, was at the peak of his career. But then Mr. Ryan would do something that sounded pretty cool, but would end up being something a lot bigger than anyone actually wanted. The fall of Mr. Ryan is a very interesting story. This is something that, if handled better, would have really helped out this whole situation. Mr. Ryan would announce a Kickstarter to help fund sequels to his Henry movie. The plan was to raise some money to pay for some of the props. These movies would be switching from Toby models to model engines, and these movies were going to have other people help with them with the scripts. And he was even going to remake the recently released Henry movie to fi fix some- I don't understand why. Like, why? Why would you do that? There was no point to like remake the Henry movie. Some of the problems with the original movie. And to make all the movies have a more consistent art style. The Kickstarter was decently successful. It had 59 backers and raised 2,046 pounds. The people who backed it, I imagine, were very excited for these movies, which stinks because they would soon end up getting unfortunate news. Yep. Mr. Ryan would announce on a community post that he had been hacked by a friend of his. Which is probably the biggest lie in history, because there is no friggin' way he was able to recover every single video unless he had them still saved. There's no way. If the hacker got access to like his files and that, he probably would have deleted them. Probably would have. Most likely would have deleted them. So it's probably the biggest cap of the century. This hacker deleted a lot of his videos. And when people went to go visit the old video links, people thought that he faked his hacking, but he just ended up covering the videos. Oh, he did. He would then end this community post by saying, I can't continue as Mr. Ryan no more, and that he would be contacting Kickstarter to refund money. Um, there are two words that actually don't really work well in this sentence, and that is Kickstarter and refund. Because Kickstarter doesn't do refunds. Yeah, this is where Mr. Ryan uh, really messed up big time. Uh, if you look at Kickstarter's TOS, scroll down some, you will see this. Kickstarter does not offer refunds. Responsibility for finishing a project lies entirely with the project creator. Kickstarter doesn't offer refunds responsibility creator kickstarter doesn't hold funds on creators behalf cannot guarantee creators work and does not offer refunds I hate this man. Kickstarter doesn't hold funds on creators' behalf, cannot guarantee creators' work, and does not offer refunds. So if Mr. Ryan said he would uh, refund people and uh, Kickstarter won't let him, then uh, uh, that, how is that going to make him look a scammer? Yeah, 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 it's going to make him look like a scammer. This could have easily been solved the moment he knew he couldn't refund people. But instead, Mr. Ryan didn't say a single thing he about- He just left. He buggered off and left. Did not say a thing. Just pissed off. 
pissed off for a whole two months, came back, and everyone just boom. Oh, yeah, 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 he's back. Of this, which led to even more people distressing him. Now, in an interview I did with Mr. Ryan through text, he told me that in order to refund the money, he would have to exchange personal details with everyone to refund it. And he doesn't want to do that because of privacy reasons. Now, sometime after the interview I did with him in DMs, he DMs me on Discord to tell me that he will, in fact, be making the films and return to YouTube. So my reaction was like, oh, uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, but how's he going to do this? He obviously has to address what happened. And he would finally say something about this whole situation in a description of a video. Yeah, uh, no one's going to read the description, Mr. Ryan. Uh, you, I mean... <sighs> One thing I really don't agree with in this description of the clarification is that him saying that if you just asked me, I would have been happy to explain it. Now, it is your job to tell the public what is actually happening. Exactly. It is your responsibility to tell people what happened with their money. With their money and give updates. That's what the Kickstarter is about, after all. So it is weird for you to say that just contact me when you already are really hard to contact in the first place like your discord is not public knowledge so i don't really think this is a fair thing to put in the description because it's your job to keep people updated especially with money so that's just that's just me though i just don't agree with that he did tell me he did a community post of this first and uh, no one read it but just making a whole video to clear up the situation would have really helped him out but that is the whole scamming drama that went on with Mr. Ryan. Dude. But there is one more thing that happened in the middle of this that made Mr. Ryan look even worse than he already was at this time. This event took place sometime after his community post explaining that he's going to leave the fan. And this was his rebrand to Entity. <laughs> Fishing serious, bro? Are you actually serious? At underscore Tom Holland. Is that desperate? The entity phase of Mr. Ryan's channel sure was something, wasn't it? Mr. Ryan told me he did this rebrand because an IRL friend of his thought that they could use the channel to do some data click rates, attention span, etc. for a few weeks with YouTube Shorts. And it was an interesting experiment, to say the least. Now, what did Entity post during this phase of the channel? Well, it was mostly pop culture videos like Minecraft and Marvel. It was pretty clear that these were made to see how many views they would get because I don't see these videos having any real passion or creativity in them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ganon. It was obviously made just to see what would happen and how many views you could get. This was a, a very short-lived phase of the channel, yep. but it didn't make Mr. Ryan look any better than he already did. In fact, it made him look even worse than before, which almost seems impossible at this point. But if he just addressed everything before this rebrand, a lot of people would have been okay with that because doing this rebrand made it look like he was running away from his problems and not addressing anything. After couple weeks entity was gone and the only remaining videos left to even show that this thing exists are the videos i downloaded for this video so i i'll leave a link to those whoever wants to watch people archive these and Watch him in the description. So, where will Mr. Ryan go on from here? He had so much to then lose so much due to him not telling people what was actually happening. 
Well, Mr. Ryan has come back. He's making videos again, and he's even made some videos of his public again, which is a really cool thing, because all of his videos were just totally made private, so I'm glad he's remaking the public again. Now, he did rebrand his channel <laughs> once again. This script was painful because of the amount of times I had to add something. And he's now called Cosmic. That's why the interview screenshots changed names earlier, by the way, because I got these screenshots later on. His new videos are doing as good as they were before, probably even a little better. And I don't think that he will have any trouble getting back an audience that he once had, but he will probably have trouble with his reputation. I have tried to keep this video mostly lighthearted, but let's not forget that Mr. Ryan has 2,046 pounds that he got from viewers to make new movies with. He is most definitely not going to make these. Like, bro, if you actually invested in these, you ain't getting the money back. Now, if he doesn't make these movies, people will still have the right to call him a scammer, and he will need to give updates on these. He told me that he'll make these films because he doesn't want to scam people. But really, we're just going to have to see what happens. So just because Mr. Ryan is looking like he's on a good track and he's now named Cosmic. Hold on. And I really do hope for the best for him that he will get back on track and make these three films and not have the reputation of a scammer. But if he, he doesn't make these three films, then people have every right to call him a scammer, I feel like, because he did say he was going to refund. If you do not trust Mr. Ryan right now, I do not blame any of you because of how poorly he dealt with. Okay, when did this video come out? Yesterday. Um, how interesting. But like, I reckon if... if saw the video then most likely he went to ganon's dms and went how could you do this to me how could you how could you Yeah, just... This whole yeah. situation. Here is my message to Cosmic. So, Cosmic, give at least somewhat monthly updates on what is happening to these films, so that way you don't even look like a scammer anymore. If something happened during development of these films, like, let's say that one of your props broke, then let people know about that. Or just how the progress is going, it might take a while for the scripts, etc. So make sure that you give people these updates because the more you let people know the more they'll be willing to trust you again and they'll be like reassured that their money is not being wasted because this is 2046 pounds that is a lot of money and a lot of people helped you out to get that money for you so as long as you get the updates and make sure that you are giving consistent progress on these films, I think you'll easily regain your reputation. And it will take a while for people to trust you again because of the way you again. didn't handle the situation well. So it will take you time, but I believe that if you do this right, you can regain your reputation. I want to thank Tunzo Trackmasters, Dab Studios, and Cosmic for helping me out with this whole video. Especially thanks to Cosmic for doing the interview and Dab Studios for providing the screenshot of Mr. Ryan's community post saying that he was going to leave YouTube. Well, this is it for the rise or fall of Mr. Ryan. I want How interesting. Good thing I couldn't care less. Oh. I forgot you even existed, dude. You Okay. There you go. Being part of Mr. Ryan's facts video, uh, Edward was quite cool in his prime days, which is saying that he took a massive fall off of these things.
Alright. As someone who has once subscribed to Mr. Ryan, quite active in his comments section, and even was one of the Kickstarter donors, I have to say I don't trust him right now. He made great points in this video. He did not handle the situation in the best way possible. And if he gives updates on his movies, rather than just claim he's working on them, he'll regain my trust. I'm sorry if I come off as a little harsh towards him, but I did give him some of my money for these projects, because I genuinely looked forward to them. And as a backer, I feel I have the right to express my grievances. Oh, God. You're totally justified to feel this way. Your lack of trust is justified, and I hope he will live up to his word and make the films. He's pretty young. That might be part of why he is, he messed, he, oh, he's pretty young. That might be part of why he messed up. I watched the Ganon's post video to see, and we just have to wait and see when the movie show up. I get it, but also he's young. All right, so I guess um, that's the end of the stream. Because they don't, they don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All right, so bye-bye.